Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And uh, for this spate of uh, time during this Easter period, I want us to look at the whole story of Easter, his passion, his trial, his crucifixion, and then his resurrection. Because I believe that Easter is not just an event, but Easter is a principled field event. Every step of Easter holds truth for us and holds principles for us and it applies to our everyday life and that's why this morning i like to just kick you off now we're going to look at various departments of scripture and the whole easter story we're going to cover the gamut of the of the of the gospels that is uh, matthew mark luke and john each and every one of them have their own peculiarities in terms of account or the narratives and therefore uh, we're going to take a look at them and the scripture reading will come under your screen for you to be able to um, see and pick up where we're, we're coming from. But this morning, I'd like us to um, um, take a look at the, the whole process. I mean, one of the processes, and that involves uh, Pontius Pilate. Uh, Pontius Pilate. And now, I, I was just looking at um, Pontius Pilate, and I'd like to capture this morning's uh, truth but killing. Truth but killing. Now, if you remember, in Matthew chapter 23 and 26, Pilate knew the truth. I mean, Pilate was asked to, 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 to try Jesus. And Pilate was, uh, Jesus was placed before Pilate. And uh, Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. Well, if you don't find a fault in the person, acquit him. Pure and simple. If the person has not done anything wrong, why go ahead and prosecute him? Why go ahead and, and pass a death sentence on him? Now, that was, not, that was not right. Now, so Pilate knew the truth, but yet to please people, he decided to kill him. Are you aware that sometimes people may be saying things about somebody and you know the truth, but for the sake of keeping up appearances with people or being on the pleasant side of people, or being, uh, people being nice to you, or because you, want to, you, you don't want to incur the wrath of the people, or because you want to be pleasing to them, you want to please them, even though you know the truth about somebody, when that person is being disparaged, or that person is being spoken evil of, you keep quiet and you don't say anything. Even though you know the truth, you don't say anything. Now the second thing too is that sometimes, when you are accusing people or sometimes when you are uh, handling people and you are trying people in your mind and you are doing all the things that uh, and joining the cacophony of accusations that are ringing out against the person, sometimes you know the truth. But for fear of what the truth, if you, if you voice out the truth, for fear of public opprobrium or whatever people are going to throw at you, for fear of that, you don't speak up. You can't stand up for the truth. Many times, people, they know the truth. Pilate knew the truth, that Jesus was innocent. And he said, I don't find anything in this man. This man is innocent. Therefore, go ahead and acquit him. Go ahead and render him away from, 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 from the, from the uh, murderous uh, desire of the people. Pilate knew the truth. But to please the people. Well, how many people have we, have we crucified? Or how many people have we watched being crucified when we know the truth about them? And we know that when we speak up the truth, it's going to change a lot of things. How many of us do that? How many times? You know, one of the things that truth is fearless. And truth doesn't fear. And if you want to, and the Bible even says that perfect love cuts it out of fear. Truth is not afraid. Truth is not afraid. And sometimes when people are being tried in, in, in the mouth of other, other people, by gossip, by condemnation, by judgment, by criticism. And we know the truth. Sometimes it is up to us, up to us to stand up and be counted and tell people, I know the truth. He or she is innocent. Well, choices are always yours. And I guess 
each and every one of us has a choice. So, see you later.